Hi everybody, I'm um, Crafty Tara on here now. I've been watching everybody's September tax and kind of decided that I want to go ahead and do it. I can't remember who they said started it, but um, it just sounded like a lot of fun. I love all these little tags um, because I like to scan through everybody's tags and see what they've said because it's just like getting to know everybody a little bit better. So I'm going to give it a shot. Um, so I did write down the questions real quick. It said, uh, favorite color of floss? Um, it, like I, I've seen a lot of people say that they don't really have a favorite color. And I guess I could say that I'm about that some way. Though if I had a choice to stitch with one, I would probably love to do something in some uh, variety color of purples. I love purple. Purple. Um, I know purple's always been my favorite color. Um, so, um, purple would probably be one of my favorite colors, and there's many, many shades. I, I like all the deep color purples, and um, when I was younger, uh, the softer purples used to be my favorite color. Oh look, purple behind me. What a surprise. Um, so, that's question number one. Question number two was, um, do you stitch for Christmas? <laughs> Considering what I'm currently working on, I really don't have time to stitch for Christmas. Um, though. Um, actually, I am planning on stitching a small project. I forgot that I have it in here. I got it at Hobby Lobby just the other day. My mother-in-law is a huge fan of a snowman, so I thought this would be a good time to attempt to do a small kit for Christmas. And I'm sorry about the glare. See if I can... Is that a little better? It's just a little ornament type. Um, I forget what the size is. It's really not that big because really this is only like a three, like a three by four size. It comes with the, the thread, of course, a needle, which I love when it comes in needles, and even has beads. So this will be my first little um, bead kit because um, I've seen so many of the others who stitch with beads. So, but again, little um, 14 count plastic canvas, and I think that will be. Lots of fun and a cute little gift. If you can see that one more time, maybe. I'm awful. This is new to me. There. So, on um, general basis, no. But I think after seeing other people um, do Christmas cards, I think that would be an interesting way to get into Christmas. Um, something small, something easy. Considering I'm doing such big pieces. Well, to me, it's considered big pieces. So. That would answer number two. Number three, what books are you reading or what's on your nightstand? If you don't know already, I have three children. They are seven, five, and two. They keep me very, very busy. I work part time and I love to stitch. And I have to catch up on my TV shows that I miss when I'm at work. So there isn't a whole lot of time to read. But I will tell you what I have been picking up on, on a semi regular basis. It's some of my favorite books that. Um, as soon as I do have some time to read, I will read. Um, and they're a little bit different than everybody else's, so I hope this, I don't know, broadens everybody's um, reading a little bit. Um, first of all, I have had a friend who's let me borrow The Love Dare, um, kind of featured in the movie uh, Fireproof, there's a Christian movie. Um, watching that movie, it just really... I don't know, inspired me to try to be a better person, a better wife, a patient wife. So, um, I've been trying to go through that book, um, but I'm trying not to push through it, to, I don't know, to do it too fast that I can't stand it. So, I'm trying to really incorporate each thing and show you, but I misplaced it somewhere. Um, but that friend was really nice to let me borrow it um, because it's really expensive to get a hold of and um, with three children I do everything I can to save money. Um, I also in the past have read some books that go along with the TV show. One of my absolute favorite shows that I watch um, whenever it's on is Castle. If you haven't heard of Castle, it comes on channel ABC. 
I'm usually right on after dates with Sarah's on Monday nights and it's about a writer who is um, he's kind of in a rut he just killed off one of his last characters that he was so popular with and then he finds um, this detective to start following around and he decides to create a new character after her and it's I think it's a wonderful story to just get lost in because um, she's a little infatuated with him because she's collected all his books but yet she doesn't want him to know and he there's just something about her that he's attracted to but yet he feels that she might always say no which in a way she always does but it's um it's in its seventh season right now they're just gonna start their seventh season next monday um so i can't wait it's gonna be a lot of fun and I, it's fun. It's got Nathan Fillion and Stana Caddy. Um, it's fun. So go along for the ride. It's a light murder mystery um, kind of show. So it's not heavy like The Law and Order. But um, I don't know. I can watch it with the kids around and not be too worried about what they hear and see. So along with that, since he writes books, they write books for real. They, um, I'm was so excited when I found this. I didn't know until they did the third season after they kept showing all these book covers and I thought wouldn't it be funny if somebody um you know actually wrote a book. Well I have a book and I about fell to the floor when I found out that they um make the books. And again it's Richard Castle. That's his character in the show and that is um you know, they, the writers do a really good job following what the episodes are in the season. All the cases that they follow, they put into the store because he writes over the summer. So this book is released uh, with the second season. Um, and then they have, excuse me, that's the, the newest one. Forgive me. So this is the one. I have them backwards in order and I hate that. Here's the first one, Deadly Heat. So you'll hear a lot about that if you decide to watch that. Um, it's just really fun. It's not really that big. But again, all the stories from the first season are kind of intertwined to make a story for this. Really, I think it's well written. Um, it's just fun and easy to read. Um, and they have real authors um, right on this, like James Patterson wrote on here and also Stephen Cannell, which um, rest in peace, he was part of the show a couple episodes. But they have, see if I can get them all up here, but that will show them all. They're, the new one just came out last week, and I don't have the money to buy it right now. So they're again, they just released this sixth season, and they just also released the sixth book. I have six books here, but one is a little different, I'll tell you. Again here, oops, sorry, there we go, there's all of them, okay. Um, and again, totally understand Mackenzie, and I think so, oh, was it Jesse? All my books that I really, really enjoy, you're right, have to be the same cover. Because since I didn't um, get the um, Deadly, no, excuse me, backwards. So then I didn't get Heat Wave until it was um, already in paperback. It took us a while to find it in hardback. And um, I still have the paperback somewhere, but it is not on my bookshelf. I much rather have the hardback. It just looks more. I don't know, distinguished. So, um, the sixth book that they have is called Stormfront. Um, it's about Derek Storm, which is the character he originally killed off. Sorry, I'm forgetting the glare. Um, that he originally killed off when the show started. And it mentions that um, four years after he was presumed dead, now, Derek Storm, the man who made Richard Castle a potential bestseller, is back. So, um, I think they talked about the character so much, people really, really wanted a, a Derek Storm story. And they also make a couple different um, graphic novels. I have them. I like them. They're just not my favorite. I'm not into the graphic novels. My husband is. So, um, those are um, the books that on my reading list. Maybe I don't read all the time, but 
Um, and then three random facts. Um, the first fact is that I love bunnies. Um, I don't get to show very often anymore because they're, I don't know, they're not, they're not like cats and dogs where there's always something for cats and dogs everywhere. Um, but, um, I just realized there's a train coming, so I'm hoping it's not going to be too loud. Um, but I used to have buddies, uh, rabbits. Right after I graduated high school, I had, um, a couple, um, they were Phoebe and Sam. Um, you might hear me talk about them later, but I think I had, over the next 10 years after that, I've had about 10 bunnies. Um, and they're just, I don't know, they're a mix between cats and dogs, so, um, you know, I had one who was such a little cuddler that I could let him out of his cage and he'd sit on my lap and he'd actually like to watch TV with me. So he was kind of a, like a little puppy. Um, but most of them kind of have little mood swings like cats. So rabbits are just as moody as, as cats where if you make them angry, you might have to watch out. But that's the first random fact. Second random fact is um, I used to work at a movie theater when I was in uh, just outside of high school. So from 17 um, until I was about, about 22, 23. Um, I worked at the movie theater for five and a half years. It was a lot of fun. Um, I got to see a lot of different type of movies. Um, I got to see a lot of different type of people watch movies from your, your fantasy to your horror to your comedies to your thrillers. Um, I worked at the movie theater from 2000 to 2005, beginning of 2006. So I have practically, excuse me, I've practically seen 90% of the movies that were released between that time. So I can almost tell you the release date. Oh, I am so goofy that I can tell you the theater, the number of the theater that I had watched it in. Um, because we got to watch a lot of movies. Um, um, so that's random fact number two. Um, random fact number three is really my artistic side came first from art class and painting. Um, I was, <laughs> I'm surprised I am not a serial starter when it comes to cross stitching because I was a serial starter to paintings. Um, there was one painting I'm extremely proud of. Um, I've joked and called it my one day miracle <laughs> um, because I was part of an art camp uh, in the summer and uh, I kept changing my mind. I find a really good idea and then I change it and then the director came around and said, Kara, you must have a painting for the show. And he said, here, and he handed me this little flower. And he said, paint this, paint it. And I was like, okay. And I painted it and I felt like I was just being sloppy, but it, to me, it was one of the best things I've ever created. And so I'll try to show you. Hope that fits. Ooh. There. Um, so it was just, like a little wildflower and really the strokes are I feel sloppy but from a distance it really stands out and somehow there was something in the pink that created this iridescence and I can't see it in the light that I have it now but it kind of shines a green iridescent which kind of added a lot or to it but um it just I don't know again it's my one day miracle because I, I still look at this and don't know exactly how I put myself into this and, and just got it done. And um, I I wish I could do more of this. I really do. Um, but my grandmother bought it in the auction. And then when she, um, right before she passed away, I, I asked that I could have it back because I really, um, this is one thing I don't think I could ever part with completely. Like if I had a family member have it, that'd be fine. But I don't think I could just give it away. Because um, to me, it's such a milestone in in my artistic history. Yes. So those are my three random facts. Um, I know September's almost over. I don't think I can tag anybody. I hardly know anybody. I'm just now starting to get to know people's names or their blogins or 
whatnot. Sorry, my computer almost turned off, I thought so. <laughs> so I will like to say if you're watching this and thank you for watching, um, I'm going to tag you because um, I've watched probably about five or six and they were all saying the same thing and I was like, ooh, if I'm watching five or six of these, I should probably do this. So again, this is my, well, my second video. This is my first time using my webcam. Um, again, I don't have time to mess around with these things. So I want to thank everybody for um, watching and have fun stitching and I'll see you next time.